Welcome to February, the shortest month in the year, and February the 2nd is Candlemas, which means that if, like me, you live in an area that was once ruled by the Archbishops of Mainz, now is the time to take down your Christmas decorations. February also contains... Valentine's Tag, as the Germans call it, the day of love and romance. So, what do Germans do on this day? Not a lot. As a celebration of romantic love, St. Valentine's Day was pretty much unknown in Germany until American soldiers brought the idea over after the Second World War. The first German Valentine's Day ball was held in 1950 in Nuremberg. It's a day for sending cards and flowers and telling your significant other that they are your significant other, but apart from that, it's not the huge commercial event that it is in Anglo-Saxon countries. Foreigners sometimes find dating Germans a bit difficult. Now, I'm actually not much of an expert on this, and uh, I'm really not the person to come to for advice. But if you want a tip, the best way to meet people in Germany is through friends. Germans tend to have a very small circle of friends, but the friends they have are good ones. So getting invited to people's private parties is usually a better way of meeting people than going to some random bar. According to the Federal Agency for Civic Education, about 41.5 million Germans, that's roughly half the population, are living with a partner. And of those, about 87% are married. Less happily, about 2.7 million people in Germany are single parents, and there are about 200,000 divorces a year. Apparently, the greatest risk of divorce happens when the marriage is between three and eight years old, so I'm safe. In the past, it wasn't as easy as it is now to get a divorce. For example, in 1950, the year of the first Valentine's Day ball in Germany, married couples were bound by a code of conduct. Only if one partner broke the terms of that code of conduct was the other partner able to apply for a divorce but not if they later had sex. And a wife was obliged to have sex if her husband demanded it, which meant that no matter what, it didn't count as rape. You'll be relieved to know that Germany has moved on a bit since then, but same-sex couples still can't get married. They can enter into a civic partnership, which grants them most of the rights and privileges of married couples. So those are the facts. Now, go and order some flowers. Thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to subscribe and tell your friends about my channel. You can also follow my blog and follow me on Google Plus and Twitter. You'll find links on my website. And if you'd like to send me a postcard, here's the address. To help you, I've drawn up a list of five ill-advised reasons for permanently moving to Germany.